It's Thursday. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It's Happy Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Today is our season finale. What? What? I can't believe we made it to the end of season two. This season has been the greatest of all. I love how you guys like kind of get it engaged to Happy Thursday. Thursday. We had such an amazing guest coming through. Like, it was just so amazing. I can't wait for season three to begin. I'm ready for you guys to just like, keep coming. Let's make this grow. Because everybody, people need to be educated. This is what this is for. Yes. Yes. So with that being said, let's start the show. So this morning, I had a whole show planned out and everything like that. I had a guest coming through. And then I receive a DM from somebody who's saying hypothetical Thursday. So yeah, everything changed. I feel like we should talk about this. So let's get into it. Okay, this person said, Hey KJ, I'm writing to you because I saw one of your hypothetical Thursday on my timeline. And I found it interesting when you were talking about able-bodied people using accessible faculties in society. Okay. I just wanted to point out that some able-bodied people utilize faculties like the wild bathroom for other purposes like changing baby diapers or they may be claustrophobic and appreciate the wide space of the bathroom. I just think that sometimes able-bodied people don't mean any harm on those specific circumstances. I just wanted to clear that out. Best regards, Antita. Okay, guys. <laughs> let's, let's talk about this, right? Because she brought us some really good value points, and that we need to take into consideration. It's really good hearing from a uh, able-bodied person point of view. So, yeah, we appreciate her. But my thing is, who are we to judge who uses the big bathroom? That's not what we're saying here, right? We're not judging. My thing is, there's just some people who just take advantage of the situation, um, the big space, and they just go in there just to, do, yeah. Um, there was one of my mutual who was, who had a video about this, and she was talking about how she wanted to use the bathroom, and the kids was playing in the bat, the big bathroom, right? You see, that's stuff like that, and the parents said nothing, and they had to wait. For them to finish doing what it was doing before they could use the bathroom. It's stuff like that. It's what I'm talking about, right? Um, a person like me, who doesn't know how to hold her bladder, would you have to go check out? Like, I really have to go. Um, I can just hold my bladder for pretty much less than a minute, and then I have to go, right? So, if somebody play in the bathroom, and I have to sit and wait for them to finish playing, I mean, come on, how fast is that? I can use the other stores. There's no grab on. I only use one store, which is the big one. That actually take my wheelchair. So that's what we're talking about. So I pretty much try to respond to that, but yeah, it's just I, I appreciate her reaching out to me. So if you want to be a part of Hypothetical Thursday, just like today, just DM me so you can be a part of Hypothetical Thursday. Season has been great. I appreciate everyone. All the guests that came on Hypothetical Thursday. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for supporting. If you want to be a part of this show, just DM me. And you will be the next guest on Hypothetical Thursday. Season 3 starts next week. I am hoping to have amazing guests on this show. So please, DM me so you'll be the next guest. On Habitatical Thursday. I'll see you on another episode of Habitatical Thursday. Hey, 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 hey.